Lily the pink she, she turned to drink she, filled up with paraffin inside. So they gave her medicinal compound, but sadly pickled Lily died. Don't drink Lily. Uh, yes, alcohol, it's not, uh, it's not, well, it's not a good thing. They say everything in moderation, which, yeah, you have to kind of agree with that, but, um, alcohol is a killer. Um, you could die just by drinking too much one evening or you could die um, having drunk too much for many years like an accumulative poison um, there's there's a lot of chemicals and, and rubbish in um, the wine and most lagers anyway and beers real ale is is probably one of the best things you could drink because it tends to be um uh, well it's a living beer um and it and it tends not to have a, a great deal of chemical um input and it is relatively weak as in a percentage of alcohol which is another good thing, I would say. But then, if you don't drink six or seven pints, what the hell are you, what are you doing? No, no, no. <sighs> One or two, that's what you want to do. None, preferably. My dad was a drug dealer. His drug um, was alcohol. And he distributed it among the village and people came from far and wide actually to drink in his premises um the beer was good and it was um it kept it well that's what i mean and it was real ale um so that attracted many people but i like to think it was more the the crack and I'm not talking about crack cocaine I'm talking about the the ambiance the um, people would laugh a lot and sing a lot and I had to try and sleep while all this was going on I was on the second floor so it was bearable but I could still hear the darts going into the dark board would you leave the timing and the last one the last dart was always well not always but just a little bit more time between the the second dart and the third dart the first and second were were a shorter shorter time between the two uh, that's just observational um it doesn't mean anything but uh i, th I, I did think it was bloody annoying because <laughs> it's one of those things that you thought was actually thought was keeping you awake but it probably wasn't but you'd focus on it and then you would probably go to sleep like like counting sheep it it doesn't matter what number you get to it's the imagining of the sheep I always imagine the imagine them jumping over a like a wall or a fence or something as I'm counting them and sometimes two jump at the same time you know that's just my uh, stupid um, imagination but the um, anyway, alcohol. I was meaning to talk about that. Um, Sean Hughes, of course, um, died. 
of um, alcohol poisoning. Um, his liver gave up. And I have a very good friend who drinks far too much. And I hope he sees this. And if he does, just take heed, man. Uh, it um, It's very sad to see people um, who are so fit and healthy gradually just go down down and down the pan because of something that is quite easy to just uh, well I say easy I know it's not that easy but it's doable to stop he killed my dad um, he 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 was a, an alcoholic there wasn't a day went by when he didn't have a drink um, and um, I say he could have stopped it, but he was once told to stop it by the doctor. This is maybe 10 years before he died. Um, died 98. Oh, no, it's probably more than that. Um, and well, how about this? He sold a very good beer. And he drank that beer um, and he would always have half a pint people said you want one clip and they would say oh, thank you yeah I'll have a half and he'd take the money for the half and then just keep drinking just keep filling that glass all night because he couldn't ke keep a count it would be more difficult to keep a count on on halves he wouldn't have kept a count on pints well, probably I don't know, he could have had a marking system, but I, I know he just kept um, drinking it. And uh, I would be exactly the same if I was in his shoes. I know I would. Um, um, you know, if I had a coffee shop, I would do the, exactly the same. Not with coffee. I'm talking about one in Holland. So um, he, he drank and drank and drank and drank. And then... I realized one day he was drinking special brew and I just quizzed him I, I, I must have been 15 16 at the time and I must have got come in from a, a night you know like night out with friends or whatever and it was quite late and uh, it must have been the early hours because he was there was nobody in the pub and he was um, maybe cashing up or something, and he, there he was, cash, uh, special brew, and not just one can, but I noticed quite a few empty cans. And I thought, even then I knew that the beer he was drinking just wasn't strong enough. Um, and maybe he didn't like like the whiskey chaser sort of thing, but maybe that was too rapid. But um, to drink special brew, you don't do it for enjoyment. You don't drink. You don't take a glass of special brew and think, "Hmm, that was nice." I don't. I don't. I don't want, there won't be many people who actually enjoy drinking that. It's just the the punch that it gives you. Uh, you know the the buzz, the alcohol uh, buzz, and it's, it is a good one. It's very nice when you're sort of coming up on on alcohol, and so there's no matter how many um, half pints of that beer he was drinking, it it just didn't give him that anymore. So he had to go on to uh, special brew and that, that that is the slippery slope it, it um, and it was around that time that I remember him going to the doctors and 
telling you know him telling me sometime after when he was drunk because he he, was, he could talk when he was drunk on a night you know similar sort of time he would open up and he um, told me that if he didn't stop drinking he didn't have that long that's what the doctors had told him so he lived 50, it must have been 15 years after that yeah it would have been around that time and he did go on to back onto um, um, beer the normal you know the draft beer that was sold so um, probably did um, slow down his inevitable death and very strong lager is is uh, it's suicide in that to that I mean um, he would drink a great many cans you know I don't know 12 geez it's unbelievable if I really if I had that many right now in my blood I would be dead I don't think I would have to be but it, if I could keep them down, I think it would kill me, having not drunk for, oh, I don't know, a long time, a long time. So, it, um, see, in my opinion, all drugs should be legal, uh, at least with alcohol, with it being legal, it's quite an easy one to make at home, so you could ferment your own wine you could brew your own beer and um, it would be unregulated and it might do you a great deal of harm and when it is regulated when it go th goes through the uh, that process then it's supposed to keep us um, from doing that and isn't it in Finland or certainly in Scandinavia where the price is very high? Um, I think there is quite a lot of drink um, dependency in Finland. And I think it's the darkness uh, in, the, in the winter. Anyway, many people, because it was so expensive, were, were, were making their own drink and it, it was... Um, killing people so I don't know what's how they've resolved that or if they have but in the same way that's why people die of heroin uh, use the either overdose if it's too strong or they um, and they don't know and um, it's not being cut as much as it normally is or whatever or it's cut with some um, wicked shit and um do you see what i'm getting at if everything if heroin was regulated um then people wouldn't die from using it you could go into a dispensary i was i'm thinking and you could get a a syringe brand new syringe and um, um, some heroin that you knew the strength of because it was always the same and um, see I don't really know much well I don't know much about heroin but I know there are different um, different um, areas that produce it and people maybe even have a um, you come on, I've seen Pulp Fiction when he's in the drug dealers, but you know, buying the um, smack. And um, I think there were three choices, and he went for the best one, of course. So that sort of thing I'm talking about, just just like weed, you know, so many different types of weed, and they do different things to you. CBDs and um, THC is the thing that you want to um, look at. I recommend cheese it's got the best balance and it just keeps me going it's a it's it's more like amphetamine actually 